Okay, we're looking, the lights are on. Everyone's ready. Oh, that could be a jump start from Ken Ferguson. Not sure he might have got it just on the money, but we'll see as they head down to turn one. Now, it is Ken Ferguson that's got that through onto turn one. Nicely out in front on the GSXR 1100. It looks like Grant Dalton may be up in second there, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Everyone's round through turn one and two and three successfully. Ken Ferguson's opened up a good gap into turn four. Here yeah, and the mighty Katana is in second place. Grant Dalton's had a blinding start. But he's getting challenged into turn five. Yep, somebody's got past him there, couldn't quite see who that is, but so Grant down to the third place. He's just feeling his way on those wet tyres. He hasn't ridden the bike since he rode it in Europe last year. Ken Ferguson round turn six. Comfortably out in front. They come up the hill. This is where the Katana's legs will stretch. First, Phil Clark's got up into second. Grant Dalton holding station in third. Russell Barker up to fourth. Brian Ash down. Kevin Gray, Chris Malcolm, Rory Garvey in eighth. Richard Ford staying place in ninth. Colin Box down to tenth. In the two strokes, Nick Olsen is uh, 11th. Phil Odes 12th. Brody Jones 13th. Guy Webster 14th. Graham Ogle 15th. And Malcolm Brown. 16. Yeah, Ken's opening up a big gap now over Phil Clark. It's his GSXRs just doing the business. So the first four are all Suzuki 1100s. Oh yeah, four bikes going around turn six alongside each other. We'll see how that pans up as they come up over the line. The little GP bikes in there as well. Yes, yeah, so it's Brian Ashdown who's got ahead of Grant Dalton. So it's Brian Ashdown, Russell Barker, Kevin Gray, Dalton down to sixth. Chris Malcolm on the 125 is still in seventh, as is Rory Garvey eighth. Richard Ford in ninth, Colin Box tenth. Brody Jones making up some places into 11th, getting ahead of Nick Olsen. Guy Webster and Graham Mogul and Malcolm Brown have all got ahead of Phil Odes on that lap. That's the battle of the two-stroke 350s. So Ken pulling a 115.2 on his GSXR 1100, sponsored by ASB Visa in the pre-89 senior class. He's over three seconds a lap faster than Phil Clark on his 1100 in second. So Ken's got a good early pace. Brian S down doing good on his uh, YZ250. Great to see a 250 up there challenging. So nice consistent on lap three. That's Phil uh, Ken Ferguson putting in a 15.2. Just topping over 129 kilometres an hour for his lap. Brian Ashdown, lovely to see that two-stroke fly over the line in second. Russell Barker into third. Kevin Gray fourth. Chris Malcolm up into fifth. Grant Dalton holds place in sixth. It's Phil Clark that's dropping down. What's happened to Phil? Anyway, seventh is Brody Jones. Great racing for him. Rory Gary in uh, eighth place. Colin Box up a place into ninth. Richard Ford, 10th. Nick Olsen, 11. Then it's Guy Webster, Graham Ogle, Malcolm Brown, 14th. Looks like we have a red flag situation. Just trying to see what's happened there.
Yeah, it's a bike in turn one. It's a bike down in turn one. The rider is up. That's good to see. But that's a red flag. Only after three laps. Not sure if there'll be a restart there. Maybe they will. It's only halfway through the race. I didn't see what happened there, but it's good to see the rider up. Yeah, the bike's still on its side, so we'll need to get the recovery truck out. And the ambulance is going out on track as well. Yeah, so everyone's coming back and they're just lining up on the dummy grid. We'll just see uh, what they're going to do in a short time. We'll just uh, get this bike recovered, make sure the rider's okay.